All right, I've got iPad OS 17 on my iPad and I wanted to show you every single new feature and change that is exclusive to the iPad. If you wanna know everything that's new in iPad OS 17 and iPhone and iOS 17, well, I encourage you to go watch my iOS 17 video. But for this one is iPad OS 17 starting off with the lock screen. As you can see, now we can add different collections of wallpapers on the iPad. So the same thing that we have on the iPhone is now available on the iPad. Okay, so if you hold on a wallpaper, that will give us the collections of the wallpapers that we have. And if we go on the right and tap on the plus icon, over here, we'll get all of our featured wallpapers available on the iPad. Now, first of all, we got a couple new wallpapers. For example, the new astronomy wallpaper, which we get to different planets, different details. We got Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. I had to, I made the same joke on my iOS 17. <laughs> I know, it's it's such an immature joke, but I gotta say it, your anus. Okay, I'll stop. And what's cool about these planet wallpapers is that when you swipe up, as you can see, the planet actually goes down and there's this beautiful, stunning animation that's super sick. Let's go back because there's a couple new wallpapers that are actually exclusive to the iPad. For example, this Hello, which is kind of the same one that we have on the Mac, but it's now available on the iPad and it's actually available in different colors, including the rainbow one, which is pretty cool. It's the last one. It's something that not a lot of people know. This one's pretty cool. There's also new Unity wallpapers, which look awesome. There's also the pride ones that we have on the iPhone, which also has this cool animation when you swipe up and down. And this one right here, which is the new iPad OS 17 official wallpaper, which looks absolutely beautiful. It also has a dark mode to go with it, which looks pretty cool. So those are all the new wallpapers and the wallpaper collections available on iPad OS 17. Something that you gotta know as well is that now in iPad OS 17, we can now add widgets on the home screen by tapping this right here. We can just keep adding different ones, the battery, the calendar. I can also add my sleep data, maybe some weather, the temperature, you call it. So as you can see, you can add a bunch of widgets and they sit on the left of your iPad and they're actually tappable. So if you tap this right here, it will jump straight to the calendar app. You can also rearrange them. So if you want this one over on the left and you want to switch uh, sides or whatever, or put this one in the bottom, you simply do it just like that. You can also change the width and the typeface of the actual font. So with this slider right here, you'll be able to make the font bolder or thinner. If we go on the home screen, there's also interactive widgets now. So over here, as you can see, I can actually play a song directly from the home screen by simply tapping on this plus icon, which is very fun. Now, this is obviously not only available for Apple Music, there's also for reminders, podcasts. So if you want to tap on a podcast directly from there, you can actually select different timers and different clocks as well, which is brand new. This is probably one of my favorite one, but it's actually the home control. So I can actually activate my different home kit accessories directly from here so I can simply turn on or turn off the kitchen lights directly from the widget on my home screen. There's a couple features that are brand new to Apple Notes as well. First of all, you can actually import full on PDFs inside of Notes and you can actually zoom in for the first time ever in Notes. Can't believe this was never available before, but now if I want to go deep in a PDF and I can actually highlight something just like that, which is Awesome. There's also built-in autofill in PDFs in Notes. So let's say you have to put your name, your last name, and your address in a PDF. You'll simply tap and everything will automatically happen. You can now also add links to your notes. As you can see, there is now an add link button. So let me tap that to show you. It will ask you to add a URL. So I simply press paste and done. As you can see, this has just turned into a link. So I can simply tap that and it will automatically go to the website that I actually added to the link. There's also massive improvements in Stage Manager. So let's go ahead and turn on Stage Manager over here and let me show you how it works. So you can basically resize them and there's no magnets anymore. So you can basically just drag them however you want and it's just, everything just feels more fluid and everything just works so much better. Before, they kind of snapped into place and they never did the thing that you wanted to do. Now it's as simply as resizing however you want whenever you want with ease works so much better. One of my favorite things about iPad OS 17 is that we finally get a dedicated health app on the iPad. Welcome to health, continue, thank you, thank you, and you can now sync your health data on iPhone as well. Let's tap on notifications, and this is a quick overview on how the app actually looks. We get this beautiful brand new gradient 
like we see on iOS 16. And here we have all of our different health categories. And something that is new as well in iOS 17 and iPadOS 17, so you can now log your emotions. As you can see, it will ask you how you're feeling right now or how you felt overall today. And here you'll be able to select how you're feeling. Now, what's cool about this is that you'll be able to see the progress of your mental health throughout the month. We also get a couple new updates to Freeform, which is my favorite app for the iPad. It's super exciting that now Freeform actually detects shape. So if you actually hold on a specific shape, it will actually recognize that, which is super awesome. We also get a couple new tools, including the ruler, which was never available, which I didn't really understand why, because it's super useful having an actual ruler on, on Freeform. And we actually get these ones. This is the calligraphy one, this ink type of watercolor type of one, uh, the crayon. So we get these three new ones, including the ruler, which is very awesome. We also get these two icons right here. One, this one is to actually connect all the different diagrams that you've done. And this one, which is super useful, it basically deactivates the dots on, on the paper. So maybe you just don't want the dots and you want to have a, a stunning um, white one and that's it, a more minimal look. You can have that as well. My recommendation to you is make sure to always have it activated while you're actually sketching or doing all of your ideas. And then once you're done with it, you can deactivate it so you'll have a more minimal look. We also get this new toggle inside of settings, multitasking and gestures. So you'll be able to select what do you want to do when multitasking? Do you want to split view and slide over? Or do you want stage manager whenever you're multitasking? For example, whenever I actually do this, as you can see, automatically stage manager is automatically open. Or maybe you want to do the slide over. You just want it there. Or maybe you just want, you don't want to multitask. I think this is a great new change because it basically allows you to open apps instantly with Stage Manager instead of going on settings and, you know, actually turning it on way much more faster. Now, if you use HomeKit on your daily life, well, I'm sorry to say that there's barely any new features, and if not any. But what's new is this, this new view right here. It's got like this transparent look which is cool and this icon has been changed, but nothing more in terms of HomeKit. So if you wanna know everything that's new in terms of iOS 17, you can watch this right here or the Apple Watch with watchOS 10. There's over 50 features, go check it out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.